Earth, our shared home, is facing unprecedented threats. The industrialization process has led to increased carbon dioxide emissions, intensifying the greenhouse effect and causing global temperatures to rise continuously. Polar ice caps are melting, glaciers are cracking, and sea levels are rising. These phenomena warn us of the irreversible impact climate change is having on Earth's ecosystems. Extreme weather events are on the rise, wildfires rage, floods inundate, and disastrous weather patterns are acting out across the globe, ruthlessly destroying our home. In this global environmental protection battle, China, a responsible major nation, is actively fulfilling international environmental responsibilities, striving to combat climate change, and contributing China's strength to global ecological security. Polar glaciers are accelerating their melt, with massive chunks of ice breaking into the sea. This is one of the destructive consequences of global warming. Every glacier collapse is Earth's silent protest. The Arctic Ocean, covered by sea ice, is seeing its ice layer get thinner and rapidly shrink. In recent years, the summer ice coverage in the Arctic has reduced by about half, making the region's climate and ecosystems even more vulnerable. The fragility of the ice makes it extremely susceptible to seasonal changes, with the Arctic winter no longer able to withstand the encroachment of global warming. Meanwhile, in the Antarctic, this continent covered by ice sheets is not just a loss for Earth, but a major threat to the global freshwater resource. The Antarctic ice sheets contain 70% of Earth's freshwater resources, and these resources are disappearing at an irreversible pace. This ancient ice layer holds hundreds of thousands of years of Earth's climate history, now gradually collapsing under the pressure of global warming. The instability of the ice is a threat to the emperor penguin breeding grounds. Antarctic winters are getting shorter, compressing the time for penguins to lay and nurture their eggs, posing severe challenges to their survival. Every penguin's call for survival seems to echo the urgent changes on this vast land. The polar bear's hunting range is gradually shrinking due to the reduction of sea ice limiting their living space more and more. As the Arctic sea ice retreats, bears must search for food over a larger area, with competition for survival becoming fiercer. The future of polar bears seems uncertain, as this once strong animal becomes more fragile under the heavy pressure of global warming. In 1984, China took its first step towards advancing towards the South Pole, investigating the challenges of extreme weather and harsh environments. This arduous expedition laid a solid foundation for China's polar research. In 1985, the Changjung Station Antarctica was officially established, becoming China's first scientific research base there, focused on climate change, oceanography, and geology, accumulating significant valuable data. As polar research continued to deepen, China established more research stations in the 1990s, including Zhongshan Station and Kunlun Station. Zhongshan Station, located in eastern Antarctica, has been focusing on atmospheric science, glaciology, and marine ecosystems since 1989. Kunlun Station is the highest elevation Antarctic research station in the world. Since its establishment in 2009, it has become a key base for astronomical observation. Entering the 21st century, China's polar research teams have gradually expanded, undertaking more and more scientific research tasks. Whether at the South Pole or the North Pole, these research ships have become mobile bases for China's polar expeditions. In 2004, China established the Yellow River Station in the Arctic, located in the Norwegian archipelago of Svalbard, focusing on Arctic sea ice research, providing crucial data for refining global climate models. Today, China's polar research stations and scientists are still diligently exploring the frozen lands. From the South Pole to the North Pole, China has become one of the world's leaders in polar research. These research stations are not only the cornerstone of China's polar research, but also an indispensable part of the global polar research community, making significant contributions to global climate change, ocean ecosystem protection, and sustainable development of polar environments. Xiangyang Hong-10, China's first-generation polar research vessel, plays a key role. In 1979, Xiangyang Hong-10 undertook its maiden Antarctic expedition, 
marking China's formal entry into Antarctic research. As pioneers, they not only took on numerous scientific tasks, but also witnessed the early stages of China's polar exploration. GD. The second-generation polar research vessel was officially put into use in 1994. Its appearance significantly enhanced China's polar research capabilities, particularly in icebreaking and sailing safety. GD. Solidified China's foundation in polar research and expanded the scope of China's scientific exploration in Antarctica. Shuilong, the third-generation Chinese polar research vessel, has been a core strength of China's polar exploration since it began service in 1993. With excellent icebreaking and research capabilities, Chuilong has successfully completed multiple expeditions to the South Pole and the North Pole, making irreplaceable contributions to the deep development of China's polar research. Xiangyang Hongten, Ji Jiahao, and Chuilong have witnessed the ongoing development and progress of China's polar expeditions. They each took on missions of exploration, consolidation, and deepening in their respective eras, together forging a brilliant path for China's polar research. Xilong II, as China's first independently built icebreaker for polar science, showcases China's technological breakthroughs in the field of polar research. This ship is not just impressive in appearance, it also boasts strong dual-direction icebreaking capabilities, allowing it to freely navigate harsh polar environments and provide reliable support for scientific research. Equipped with advanced scientific research equipment, including multifunctional ocean monitoring instruments and deep-sea sampling systems, Shuilong 2 enables scientists to continuously monitor the ocean environment and conduct in-depth ecological research, providing valuable data on global climate change. In the harsh conditions of the polar regions, Shuilong 2 was designed with the full consideration of the safety and comfort of researchers. The ship includes professional living areas and research workstations, enabling scientists to concentrate on their studies without fear of cold and storm challenges. Shuilong 2's dual-direction icebreaking capabilities allow it to navigate icy waters with ease efficiently opening routes and supporting future research vessels, positioning China as a leader in polar science expeditions. Compared to its predecessor Xuelong, Xuelong II boasts significant improvements in design and technology. It not only continues the fine tradition of Xuelong, but also achieves qualitative leaps in icebreaking capabilities, research equipment, and environmental adaptability, marking a new era for China's polar research. In 2024, Shuilong II's first visit to Hong Kong attracted the attention of many citizens and media. This significant moment marks a new milestone in China's polar science and shows Hong Kong's important role as a platform for international scientific exchange. In the science popularization activities of Shuilong II, citizens enthusiastically participated, creating a lively atmosphere. Various interactive exhibits and workshops offer deeper insights into the mysteries of polar research, especially invigorating the scientific passion of the younger generation. During the activities, scientists shared the latest achievements in polar research, emphasizing Hong Kong's importance in global polar science cooperation. These studies not only help understand climate change, but also promote scientific collaboration between the mainland and Hong Kong, advancing the sharing of knowledge. Citizens visited Shuilong too, experiencing the advanced technology of this icebreaker. Experts on board explained how the vessel is used for scientific exploration, providing visitors with a more direct understanding of the polar environment. The port visit of Shuilong too is not just a science popularization gala, but also a great start for polar research collaboration between Hong Kong and mainland China. In the future, both sides will jointly advance polar science research and tackle global climate challenges together. Polar research is crucial for responding to global climate change. The changes in glaciers affect not only sea levels, but also the global climate system. By analyzing ice core data, scientists can reconstruct past climate changes, helping us to predict future trends. 
The study of polar ecosystems reveals the mechanisms of adaptation in living organisms, providing scientific data for the protection of these fragile ecosystems. These achievements result from the collaboration of scientists worldwide, promoting knowledge sharing and providing support for addressing climate challenges. We deeply understand the importance of polar research and its impact on global climate. The polar regions are not only at the forefront of scientific research, but also our shared home. We call on the world to work together to protect these fragile polar environments, helping more people recognize their irreplaceable value. Understand the polar regions, protect them, utilize them, and join hands to create a better environment for the future.